Today, we're going through seven more things you can do right now to reduce micro stutters on your Windows 10 and Windows 11 PC. Let's start with what Windows describes as gaming. There's game DVR, game bar, and game mode. It's a game overlay with background recording and CPU priorities. Overlays add another layer to the apps you're using. Depending on what's running in the background or your system specs, as well as how old your PC is, it could introduce stuttering. We're going to leverage OBS Studio. You can find this app in the video description. Thanks to the log files found from OBS Studio, the first few lines describe these so-called active gaming features on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC. If you installed a recent Windows 10 or Windows 11 OS with no modifications, you'll find the following three lines present. Game DVR with the default setting to on, game mode default to on, and hardware GPU scheduler default to on in Windows 11 and default to off in Windows 10. Game mode and hardware GPU scheduler stayed probably on, but if you look in your Windows 10 or Windows 11 settings, it will correspond to the log file. This has been covered in many YouTube videos, but I'm going to focus on something different. If I compare another installation of Windows 10 or Windows 11, I found additional entries for Game Bar and Game DVR recording. If I go into Settings, Gaming, Xbox Game Bar, and turn off Open Xbox Game Bar using this button on a controller, and then relaunch OBS Studio, no additional entry is found for Game Bar. Now this could be OBS Studio, but it still didn't make any sense to me. I looked into the Windows registry and found answers. Quick disclaimer, any changes in the Windows registry are done at your own risk. Please watch this video first before you decide to make any changes. We're going to look for Game DVR, which is located in a section called HKey Current User. In the first section, it's missing several lines for Game DVR. This includes Game Bar and Game Bar Recording. When I go to Find Next, we'll find the setting to turn off Game DVR. We'll change Game DVR enabled to zero. This will turn off the Game DVR for the logged in user. Now let's check OBS Studio. As expected, Game DVR now shows it's off, but I still don't have the Game Bar options. To get the current settings for Game Bar in the Windows registry, go back to Settings, Gaming, Captures, and change something. Now if we go back into the Windows registry, refresh the Game DVR screen, all the settings show up. Let's turn off all the capturing. For App Capture Enabled, change it from 1 to 0. For Audio Capture Enabled, change it from 1 to 0. And for Cursor Capture Enabled, change it from 1 to 0. Now, the main overlay is turned off, but it can be turned back on if you press the Windows key and G key shortcut on your keyboard. If you want to completely remove it from the current logged in user, run the following command as an administrator with PowerShell. I'll put this in the video description as well. If you want to restore the gaming overlay, simply run the Xbox app, go to sign in, go into settings, go to general, then Xbox game bar, and then install it. After a few seconds, it will be reinstalled. If you have Discord, Steam, Nvidia, and any other apps that have game overlays, these can be turned off in their own respective apps. I may make another video on overlays if people want it. Let me know in the comments. Game mode is on by default in Windows 10 and Windows 11. This setting will increase priority or system responsiveness with game apps. However, if you are streaming or projecting with OBS Studio in a single or dual PC setup, you may want to turn this off. This is because Windows may lower the priority too much and can cause an app like OBS Studio to freeze. If you run an app like OBS Studio, try turning game mode off and check to see if it improves your experience or gameplay. Disabling background tasks can reduce the chances of system stuttering with old hardware. Microsoft buried background tasks in Windows 11 to be a per-app change instead of a simpler setup like Windows 10. If you have old hardware such as an Intel CPU from 4 or more years ago, you'll likely see more benefit turning off background tasks than those with recent hardware. Winero.com has an article describing the steps to disable background tasks in different ways. They also include a zip file that has a registry file you can run to completely disable background tasks. On the website, scroll down to the section, download reg files, and then download the zip file. Inside the zip file, there will be one file to disable background tasks, and then another to enable background tasks. Run the disable background tasks registry file to turn it off. If you decide to re-enable background tasks, run the other file. You may need to log off and log back on your PC for the settings to take effect. If you're having issues with apps or games flickering or stuttering, disabling multiplane overlay or MPO could resolve your issue, but it may break Windows full screen optimizations. You can disable MPO with the registry change. NVIDIA has posted the files to disable and enable MPO. 
It's a Microsoft setting and not unique to NVIDIA. The registry setting change will cover any GPU. If you decide to implement this change, you'll need to reboot your computer. I'll include the link in the video description. NV Clean Install is an app where you can choose to install what you need for your NVIDIA GPU or video card. I went over this recently and you can watch the video in the cards or video description. It's worth checking it out. We've discussed overlays a lot in this video, but they can create problems for some computer setups or configurations. One of these overlays is NVIDIA's Anzal overlay. This overlay integrates GeForce Experience, Reflex Latency Monitoring, Shadowplay, and more. If you're looking to remove all overlays or continue past the NV Clean Install video, this is it. We're going to search for NV Camera Enabled, and this is buried in the Windows System 32 folder. The installation directory is different by PC and NVIDIA driver. We'll copy the path and run PowerShell or Terminal as an administrator. Type CMD and hit enter. Let's change the directory. Type CD space and paste the directory we copied and press enter. Type NV camera enable space off and press enter. This will turn off NVIDIA's Ansel overlay. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, consider supporting the channel by leaving a super thanks, smash the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and follow me on Twitter at Dave Benito. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you guys next time.